There are very rare people in this life. People who sleep with their eyes open, those that eat three square meals a day, and no matter how high up you hold yourself, we can all be weird sometimes. Which doesn't necessarily mean you're abnormal, except those that prefer DC Justice League to Avengers. You need professional help. In this filter and Twitter era, it's hard to find people that match their online profile, even much less suit your personality. Formy Jun is born on Instagram but join English in real life. This makes it hard to form genuine friendships or relationships. People have learned how to pretend and mirror those they want to appeal to. That's how we call it in London, Fofo. 12 seconds later. Lose this personality now for that are mad! Sometimes you try to figure them out with simple information like, I the first one and last one in your house. How many sisters do you have? Do you have any pets? Because we all know it's cool to own a dog, but to own a cat in Nigeria, they are animal. They can get initiated at any time. I don't know. In one way or the other, we've all become CIA trying to investigate people we know, people we used to know, people we want to know, and of course, people we don't know. So if I meet you and I ask how far that your ex that sold your phone, just answer me and save us the awkward moment because he will still update us on Facebook. So for those trying to create new experiences and meet new people, here are some weird tips on figuring out the kind of personalities that you're likely going to encounter. First off is their selfie style. For those trying to analyze people they've met on social media, you can start by judging what their selfie style is. Research has shown that neurotic people are more likely to use the dog face, friendly people more likely take selfies from below, and conscientious people are less likely to reveal their private space in the backgrounds of their selfies. I guess the follows is saying that a picture is worth a thousand words. Better go and learn how to read. Tip. Transmission, transmission, I mean, apprehensive. Another tip is to judge their writing style. Narcissists generally use the terms me, my, and I a lot. Typos can indicate lower IQ or academic intelligence. But even when you type without typos, it can also mean you're a perfectionist or a potential obsessionist. Either way, it's a proven tell sign to figure out people that you are dealing with. So for people that type KK instead of OK, or good AM instead of good morning, please stop it. Use your head. I think I would rather look obsessive than look stupid. For people you meet in person, you should look out for these signs, the way they walk. If you walk fast, it could mean they're extremely productive and highly logical. People with shorter strides, smaller arm swing and slower walk tend to be seen as more vulnerable. While if you walk with your eyes glued to the floor, it's most likely that you're introverted and polite. After seeing this, I'm sure a lot of people will start going for walking lessons, so we can predict all their mental problems. Second tip is analyzing their eating habits. People that eat slowly are usually people that like to be in control and know how to appreciate life more. Fast eaters tend to be ambitious and impatient. And for those that like to separate all the ingredients in their food, they are usually cautious and detail-oriented in their everyday life. Since in a fast food and movies short pass, you want a guy that doesn't finish his popcorn before you. Or better still, doesn't even eat at all. And finally, for the weirdest one of them all, how they hang their toilet paper. If you still want Netflix and chill, because a lot have just said enter one ear and left through the other ear, first of all, use the bathroom. Those who prefer the overhead method tend to be more dominant, while those who prefer the underhead method tend to be submissive. Extremely dominant people have even confessed to changing the position of toilet paper that it's not in their preferred position. So in case you didn't know you're walking into a Fifty Shades of Grey movie, prepare yourself and be careful. If his name is Kanayo, do enter his red room. Even though these tips all have a certain level of scientific backing, it's not supposed to give you a shortcut to figuring people out. It's basically highlighting some important traits you should look out for when meeting new people. The actual time and effort required to figure these things out totally depends on the individuals involved. If you know what you want, you'll definitely have more fun searching for it with these tips. Thanks for watching, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. See you next week.